So guys, today uh, we are looking at this QA with the RAG, uh, the man chain providers, this documentation. So the lang chain provide this uh, detailed walkthrough, step by step thing, right? As a like a notebook or as a simple Python file, right? Quite. Uh, today I have done this thing with multiple loaders and with the generative and with the UI interface. So first, let me. Uh, okay, so let me tell you first what they have done. First, they have import the libraries, right? Then they have load the web page loader. They have chosen the web page loader, right? And um, then the text split, uh, and then the vector store, and then the retriever, right? And then uh, format the docs, and then uh, ask the questions from that document, in the loaded document. So, and if you have to add the system prompt, then you can add like this. And if you have to want to add a chat history, then you can add a chat history like this. So, the we will go to the Python file so I have created. So this is the file. Um, this is all the code I have copied from blank chain. The libraries, API keys, the motor, text bit, vector store, retriever, from, chat history, and then the uh, chat, chat history, the session history, and then the response. But I have done this thing, modify this thing to with the uh, multiple loaders in Flask with the in uh, HTML interface. So, what I have done this first, I have uh, same thing. I have done this um, convert the web based loader. I have changed the web web based loader to the URL uh, Selenium URL loader. So we don't have to worry about the JSON's request issues or JavaScript request issues. Sorry. So. First, what I have did is uh, the flask, initialize the flask app, then any uh, if it's the secret key, and uh, in the upload folder, what we have uploaded, so we can uh, here you can see what you what talks you will be uploaded, upload. So what kind of extensions it will be allowed in this, and the maximum length. Uh, so that's I have initialized the jack history to the store variable. Uh, I have chosen the shibri four four model. So this is my index two bot HTML. Let me tell you. So this is my interface. So here you can select multiple. Uh, I have done this with four loaders: URL, PDF, text, and CSV words. Right. So first of all, what I have did is first uh, the conversation long. I have uh, declared this conversation React chain into a global variable. Because um, within the API, it cannot be accessed if I didn't use global variable. So the global variable, then the session ID and the loader type. Uh, first, I have chosen this loader URL. I didn't do anything. I just copy the code from the man chain. The dogs dot load. If the user select PDF, then the PDF loader will use. If the user text, then the text loader, and so on. Right then. I use this text splitter, this vector store, Roma retriever, the context, the chain history, chat history, right? I did nothing from scratch. I just copy the code from the land chain and just add this into the Flask API. So in the second API, which I have to ask questions from the rag, this global variable conversation rank chain, if I didn't declare this global, then it will not be used. Then this conversation rack chain will not be used, right? And it will give us error. So, and this is the uh, index.html where I have just uh, do basic HTML and just um, do some JavaScript so it will connect it with the, my backend. So, I want to show you first the URL, right? If uh, this lang chain tell me the URL, I have copied this Selenium URL loader and any, any example, you can do that. So I will do this, this like that. 
and if I load the document it will take some time and as you can see it received the URL and it is taking some time so it is now collecting the uh, document and I guess okay so the document is loaded successfully so I will say tell me on about this URL because I don't know what information it contains in this URL and it will say it is related to the CN tower right so if I go to this and move this I hope it is related to CN Tower. Yeah, it is related to CN Tower. So that is great. Now, if I say we <laughs> simply just say I didn't add the source thing, the lang chain provide, but the main thing I have done is like it gave me the whole information about the CN Tower, right? That's great. So if I refresh it and then if I choose a PDF and if I choose uh, the game, uh, game uh, PDF so if I say like what I will say summarize this cam PDF for me uh, so uh, let me tell you game stands for keyboard high stroke yeah. this PDF contains all the information about the game right so uh, so it also says describes how to use macro library D and like certain languages like I'm a great JavaScript fan the people for weavers so uh, I would say And as you can see here, it connects all the data. So micro triggers, micro actions, groups, and to me, all information, all information. So if I refresh it, and then if I with the text thing, so if I in the no, oh, oh, sorry, rather I didn't choose any file. So this is scrape uh, deploy app in GCP. I would say load, and it is loading. Great. So I would say uh, give me the steps for it. Uh, deploy app on GCP give me all the steps right it contains the steps for deploying the app on Google right TCP okay so first we have to be a virtual machine right and then we have to go to the console um, select OS then via it uh, like the set to is connection the virtual machine via SSH and um, what we have to install right get and all that thing so that is beautiful right so now if I do this do this do this all right doctor is loaded it's a tell me that we don't do names what Columns, I would say, give me the name of columns from the CSV file. I would say this. Okay, what did it be? When he warm it, bull. Okay, so it gave me the Python code. <laughs> Okay. 
So just like that. So you can uh, play around with it. Uh, the video is getting big, so I don't want to go deeper, but you can test this thing. It is answering the multiple loaders, so you can add any kind of loader within this code and you can add multiple loaders just like I did. Just like this LF state LF use LF statement, if else statements and add multiple code loaders like that. Thank you.